Welcome to Media Pool. I'm Xuan Zuo. In the last two weeks, I have made three seminars viral video and promoted them in different social platforms. So in this video essay, I would like to give an evaluation of my works. Within the time available, I will choose the data on January 14, 2080 to analyze my works. Actually, there is not a great deal of differences between the three videos' popularity. But I would say my Media Geek video seems more popular because it generates a higher level of views and engagement. The next is the Media Society video, which also achieved quite high engagement. The last one, Media Culture video, which generates fewer engagement and views. In the next, I will illustrate how I have applied theory on my practice, like viral video theory, steps model, user engagement, and the promotion strategies. Also, I have compared and contrasted two videos, Media Geek and Media Culture in details, analyzed the reasons for different popularity results, and what I can improve in the future. Even though this video didn't reach millions of people or hundreds of people, but according to Nayan and Hemsley's viral video theory, I believe they are viral videos because the speed of spread and the way of spread through social sharing process. As it shows, the life cycle of my videos, for example, the Media Society video, you can find it has a typical peak and power low decay. It has a very short growth phase and quickly come to the peak, gets 46 views in one day. After the decay phase, it has a revival phase. I believe this should be attributed to the Twitter promotion, and this will be talked later. My Media Geek video is more popular. It is about online surveillance, especially in the social media platform. It is a hot topic in recent years. With the technology development, more and more people have realized they are being watched at all times. In this video, I have put forward and explained an academic theory, New Civilians, by Mark Poster, who believe our society become a super-pandopsican by this new kind of surveillance. At last, this video has generated 197 views, 39 likes, 50 comments, 4 shares, 4 subscribers, and 31.5% engagement in total. Besides, the video has two calls to action. Firstly, it asks viewers to protect their information online. Secondly, it invokes viewers to think about the boundary of their privacy, freedom, and immaterial labor. The first reason for its more popular is that my Media Geek video has strictly followed the steps model. Berger explained what makes video contagious. He pointed six principles, and when I choose my video topics, produce the content, and promote the videos, I try to follow the principles. The second reason is the video genre. Lynn Green has mentioned how to video, that is instructional video, generates more engagement than others, and its comments will create an affinity spaces encourage more interaction and connections. Thirdly, I also found some significant suggestions from Go, King and Rubin's paper. After analyzing 6.9 million video watching sessions, they found shorter video using hand style drawing, informal talking head, and fast paced speech are more engaging. Therefore, I have two minutes pen casting in my Media Geek video drawing some colorful and cute cartoon, connecting them as a lively story to attract audience. I also have vivacious background music and fast speed. As I expected, the video received many likes and comments. Some audience even subscribe our channel and share this video. However, my media culture video gets fewer views and engagement than others. It gets 189 views, 31 likes, 10 comments, 2 shares, 1 subscribers, and 23.3% engagement. Here is its life cycle graph. After the peak phase, 
There is only a slightly revival on January 5th, the day I promoted it on Twitter. This video does follow the steps model, but comparing to the media geek video, it seems not so attractive and interesting. The topic journey to Scotland is too common. When you search journey to Scotland, you can find 673,000 results. It is hard to make my video stand out. The scenery, food, and the scenic spots are similar to other travel videos. What's more, the virtual and audio effect is not as good as some big budget production like Scotland Tourism 4K promotion video by a professional company. Also, I made a serious mistake. To make my travel more convenient, I didn't bring the tripod. So you can find the screen is a little bit shaking. All my videos main target audience are students and young adults who use social media. So I use the same promotion strategy, which probably leads to the similar level of views. Firstly, I have posted a link on WeChat and Facebook, where most of my friends in UK and China can see. Unfortunately, friends in China cannot use YouTube and Facebook. However, there is a limitation to widely spread and share my video according to the interpersonal tie theory. Our close friends on WeChat and Facebook, who are seen as a strong ties with us, tend to move into the same circle. Sometimes, the information they receive overlaps with what we already know. Granovator claimed more new information flows to individuals through weak ties, like Twitter, rather than strong ties, like WeChat and Facebook. Thus, I also promoted my video on Twitter, where millions of strangers are possible to see the videos and retweet them. I have tweeted and asked some famous professors or official accounts if they would like to retweet my video. It is a hard process because only a few people responded to me, but it still encouraged me. For example, Mental Health Today, who retweets my video and keep in touch with me if any of my friends have mental health problems. Furthermore, I found something interesting. In my three viral videos, I found mental health problem and tourism are more attractive to female audience, while online surveillance is more popular in male audience. After the video production, promotion and evaluation, I found there are many things I can improve in the future, especially in the media culture video. To improve this video, firstly, I should use the tripod to stabilize the camera and get high quality visual experience. Secondly, I should use a catchy title like What You Cannot Miss About Scotland rather than Journey to Scotland. Thirdly, give some attraction commentary rather than only beautiful but dark frames. Finally, the skills of editing and the video color modulation should be improved after more and more practice. From this analysis, to produce a popular viral video, I still have a lot of things to learn in both theoretical method and practice. I'm so lucky to attend this module because this is my first time to use the graphic tablet, professional camera, and uh, editing software. It is so excited and I really enjoy this process. Filming a story, recording a journey, editing, and receiving some encouraging comments from YouTube. I also view other classmates' videos. Some of them are silent. I'm so proud of us because we not only make great videos, our video really give the audience some useful suggestion and knowledge, raise the public awareness of some issues, even benefits to our society. Thanks to Carrie, thanks to my actors and all my classmates. Thank you.